James the Preacher, your friend, always bringing you a uh, insightful word, a word of God. Today's message, women should be keepers of the home. Now there are too many women are out there that are you know, rebelling against God, rebelling against their husbands, trying to go out and get an education, trying to have careers, trying to uh, compete with their husband you know, by earning paychecks and whatnot. You know, this is uh, against the Bible, against uh, God's will, women should be keepers of the home. But uh, nevertheless, so let's not worry about perhaps what your grandmother tells you or what your Bible college tells you. It's like, you know, why, why do women try to get an education anyway? You should be keepers of the home. Well, let's take a look at uh, the King James Bible, Proverbs 31. Who can find a virtuous woman? That is very true. There are too many women that are out there dressing provocatively, going into the workplace, trying to seduce women. I mean, this, I mean, women in the workplace, this is the reason why we have so much adultery out there. You know, her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband does solely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. That is very true. How many of your uh, husbands out there, women, those of you that actually have husbands, how many of your husbands can actually trust you? She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh hands. Wait, work? Who's she doing working? Anyway. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and a portion to her maidens. Yes, that, that is very true. Uh, women, you, you should be getting up in the middle of the night to uh, you know, make breakfast for your husbands and for your children. You should be not uh, slothful and, and lying around in bed. That, that's your husband's job. She considereth a field and buyeth it. What? What is she doing buying a field? She should be a keeper's... Am I reading the King James Bible? She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hand she planteth a vineyard. What? Planting? That, that's a man's job. Huh. She girdeth her loins with strength, and strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that the merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. What is she doing merchandising? Maybe she be keepers of the home. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands to the distaff. What the hell is a distaff? She stretches out her hands to the poor, yea, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. What, what is she doing? She is not afraid of the snow of her household, for her household are clothes with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry, her clothing is silk and purple. Uh, wait a minute, women are supposed to be modest, they're not supposed to be dressing themselves up with purple, scarlet, and Maybe she be keepers of the home. Her husband is known in the gates, when he is sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen, and selleth it, and delivereth it, girdles unto the merchant. What, what is she doing selling? That, that's a man. Women should not be out in the marketplace. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her health in, with wisdom, and her tongue is a law of kindness. Huh? She looketh well to the ways of her husband, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Okay, well, see, now, now we're making sense again. Women, how many of you are, are being idle and not cleaning up that house? Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also and praises her. What's her husband doing praise? Okay. Something's wrong with my Bible. Uh, I've, got, I've got to go out and fix it. I think somebody did a little switcheroo on me. But nevertheless, women that should be keepers of the home and Coughlin 666, Ponage Olympics all the way. Well, this is James the Preacher just giving it to you with all the love I can. Don't you feel the love today?